Good morning. It is the first beach day of the year for us, for the whole family. We're really excited. It's bright and early. Everyone's getting their bathing suits on. And that means I've been hard at work doing everything else. <laughs> I've been packing some towels. I have some snacks to pack. I have dinner I want to throw in the crock pot. Even though we are bringing extra kids with us, but some of them are going to a birthday party on the way home. But I still have to throw dinner in for the rest of us. And I also have a Trader Joe's haul to share with you guys because I went yesterday after my OB appointment and I grabbed some snacks for the beach. Very important. So I'm gonna show you uh, the stuff I've been packing. I didn't, I meant to run to Publix this morning to get fresh rolls and salami, but I didn't do that. Maybe we'll do that on the way out, but no promises. Snacks should be good enough. Once the kids get ready, we're gonna throw some bagels together. I do have gluten-free bagels too. And then over here, this is what I'm gonna throw in the cooler. I just have a bunch of oranges, apples, and then crackers. I have some dried pineapple, some more crackers, <laughs> and peanut butter. I also have like puffy chips. Those will probably fit in the bag too. But um, just keeping it really simple. And then of course, oh crap, I have to find my jug of water to fill. And then pack some cups. I just spent way too long in the garage looking for this. Guess where it was? The first place I looked. I know, it seems so ridiculous. Um, I finally packed this. I say finally because I feel like everything's taking me forever. Snacks, fruit, cups, and everything fit. I love this cooler so much. This is from Ikea. Actually, I may have gotten it from Amazon, but it's like, you know, an Ikea thing. It's just like the perfect size. Okay, I was looking up on Pinterest this morning some crock pot pork recipes and I have, <laughs> so convenient that sink is. I don't have any chicken, I don't think. I might have like one pack, but it's not enough to feed everybody. I do have pork, so I figured, okay, let me look up some recipes. Do you ever feel like your days just revolve around food and like feeding everybody? That's fine. So I didn't end up finding a pork, well I mean I found a bunch of pork recipes, but none that I was interested in. Hold on. So I've decided to make like Mississippi roast, but with pork. Cause I just went in my cupboard and I was like, what do I have? I have some chicken gravy mix. Because the kids always like gravy whenever they eat something, especially when it comes from the crock pot and I feel like that gives it less of a chance to like dry out. I also have some brown gravy mix. This is gluten free. I don't know, just throw that in too. I have some zesty Italian dressing mix. I'm just gonna toss that in. And then I have some ranch seasoning. I'm just gonna throw some of that in too. It's gonna be delicious. And so with Mississippi roast or Mississippi chicken, you throw in a few pepperoncinis and that just gives it a little zest. You could do some juice too. I'm just gonna do four, It's not just so it's not too spicy, but also there's a lot of meat in there. And then this is what makes it extra delicious, a stick of butter. Do we need a whole stick, is that necessary? I'm gonna say yes. And that's all she wrote. I'm gonna put this on low and by the time we get home, our house is gonna smell divine. You can also, one of my favorites is like a can of cream of chicken soup, if you have that, and then gravy packet. I don't know, literally, do whatever you want. It, it's so versatile, you can throw anything in a crock pot, it's gonna taste good. <laughs> okay, uh, everyone is climbing into the cookies because who can resist? And they're raving about these, and I would uh, have to agree. They are delicious. I might pack some in the beach bag. So we're trying to, um, you know, get breakfast situated, all the bagels. And someone, oh gosh, that scared me. It just not someone decided to throw in an American Girl doll coffee mug in there. Uh, I cannot get it out. It's been weeks. Can you try to get it out? I mean, I've shook the thing. I've gotten like tweezers and stuff in there. Well, I'm not going to do it while it's plugged in. I just can't. And it, well, just try it while it's plugged in. <laughs> okay. Sounds good. Anyway, I might have to buy a new toaster, which is the last thing I want to do because... Doing one at a time is just not very convenient. Can you see the smoke? Alex just said, oh, you can totally still use it. It's porcelain, no big deal. The paint. Uh, yeah, something's definitely smoking in there. One at a time. <laughs> That's how we need to do it. Also, I've never taken a good look at our toaster. 
Uh, clearly, it needs a cleaning, but really, I mean, why am I going to waste my time cleaning it? Like, I clean out the tray, the crumb trays every once in a while, but uh, clearly, it needs a little more than that. But it's like, I'm not going to clean it if I'm just going to get rid of it. You know what I mean? Because I, I have tried everything to get that cup out. I don't know how my kids got it in there. It defies the laws of physics. <laughs> anyway, Alex is packing up the car at this point. The kids, he's getting, he's gathering like sand toys and we bring a tent with us. You know, you got to get that shade. And we feel like an umbrella just doesn't offer the same amount of shade as a tent does. And it, let's be honest, a beach umbrella really covers one person, <laughs> maybe two people. Probably closer to two people. I mean, growing up, we always brought a, a beach umbrella and that's all we had. But uh, I don't know. People bring beach tents and that's like a thing now. And we quite enjoy it. Anyway, real reason I wanted to talk to you. Oh, and the kids are finishing up their breakfast. And I thought, well, I might as well do the dishes. And let me tell you why I have so many dishes to do. Oh, our dishwasher was not installed correctly. <laughs> why? <laughs> Oh, man, I we were so happy to get it, our dishwasher. And then we had trouble running it. And we thought, gosh, is like, is this how dishwashers function? They just don't work because we thought we ran it a couple of times. And our dishes like were not getting clean. And we thought, oh, man, like this is supposed to be a good dishwasher. We got a Bosch dishwasher. We splurged and got a Bosch dishwasher and you know, the whole time I'm sitting there like, are you, is this a joke? Do dishwashers just suck in general? Uh, turns out it was not installed correctly, so it doesn't run correctly. So Alex has been contacting Lowe's and trying to get someone out to like fix it. <laughs> but needless to say, I have an, a, an endless amount of dishes as usual. And I just have to hand wash them, which is fine. But that's why. <laughs> that's why there's so many. I think this morning we did use paper plates and I get comments a lot because our dishwasher has been like out of order for quite some time now. And because we were waiting for a new one to come in and that took a while because that's life. No big deal. But people are like, oh, you should just do paper plates and cut and whatever. And sometimes we do. I think this morning the kids are eating on paper plates. But and just, in, you know, I like I don't mind washing dishes if it saves a mother nature a little bit just a little we just you know we do our best over here we're not perfect but we do our best <laughs> as you can see meredith is ready for the beach it took a lot to get her bathing suit on anyone else we, i was like we're going to the beach are you excited no she wasn't <laughs> okay we've made it to the beach but hold on because they're so, oh my gosh, Alex, there's a grill out here, a personal grill. We wouldn't have to go all the way downstairs. Okay, what's happening? Just walked up a bunch of stairs holding a baby. I'm out of breath is what's happening. Uh, so I didn't tell you our main we mission to come to the beach today was to check out a timeshare. It's actually the timeshare that Alex's grandparents have. So we're, he's been coming here literally his whole life. But the, um, the room that they have, obviously they split it between family members and everything. And so they get it for a week and we typically come for one or two nights. I would say two nights we typically come and it's a lot smaller. So we thought, oh, let's keep an eye out if anything else opens up. And it really opened our eyes when Alex and I took our weekend getaway, how much money we spent on that. And let me show you this view real quick. Here it is, all the way right there is the beach and this would be our room if we get it, but. Okay, I'll show you around the inside. I haven't even looked all the way. It, I'm impressed, it's, it's much nicer than I thought it was going to be. So anyway, after our weekend getaway, the amount of money that we spent, we thought for a whole week, let's keep an eye out on a timeshare. Anyway, this one popped up and so we're here to tour it. And we said, well, we might as well make a day out of it and spend the day at the beach, hence we're here. So I figured, well, do you want to like tour it around with us and maybe get a feel for it? Maybe you can tell us if, yes, you should, or hmm, a bit, is someone here? What, there's like blankets on the couch? Huh. They said free for all. They said, go on up there, whatever. Hey, it's been a while. House tour, house tour. <laughs> 
Oh, that's a mirror. Oh, that spooked me. I thought you were this way. What is that? Is that just a mirror? Okay, it comes with its own washer and dryer, which is such a luxury. This is like the entrance. What is this, a little coat closet in here? Ooh, a cleaning closet. <gasps> we got our own vacuum and broom. This is a joy. <laughs> Typically, we have to like raid the housekeeping cart and uh, you know, if we have spills or anything. Okay, so that is the main areas. I think there's a bedroom this way. We're exploring this together because honestly, holy crud. This is literally the size of a house. When they told us the square footage of it, Alex and I were like, yeah, right. No stinking way. But <gasps> that's the bathroom? I thought it was like a closet or something. Holy cow. Mom, look at this, this is ridiculous. Oh, yeah, that is a shower. Holy and, crud. And this is. Look at this tub. We can bathe all the kids in here when we get in from the beach. Mom, this is insane. Mom, you can this is literally so much bigger than <laughs> Alex and I thought it was. I don't know if I've ever showed you the um, the, the room that his grandparents own. Here's one of the bathrooms. Oh my gosh, it's kind of like a Jack and Jill. Or a Jack, I guess, because it's just one bedroom. Well, that's it. That's just, this whole thing is two bedroom. Um, and, oh, and there's a cot right there. Plus, if it's a bunch of kids, like, they can sleep on the floor. <laughs> and then there's a couch. This is, like, the living space. There's a couch here. I think it's a pullout, right? It's a pullout. So, I mean, literally, we could fit seven people on the couch alone. They have a wet bar. What is this? Crazy sauce. This is the living room. That's out to the balcony. What are there? Two dining tables here? So, um... I don't know, I guess breakfast table. <laughs> and then a dining room table here. And the whole dining room. And then this is the kitchen over here. First of all, love the artwork. Holy, this is far and away exceeded my expectations of what this place would be. Plenty of space to cook because when we do spend the week here, or you know, typically it's usually just two days and then we come during the day and stuff, but we do, I do pack food because it saves so much money. And plus, we don't have to leave. But this is the veranda out here. And bonus, look, our own little grill. <laughs> A private grill up here. What do you think, Meredith? Wow, this is amazing. All right, I'll give you, give you this view again of the beach. I'll give you another view of the second bedroom. Yeah. There's a bunch of kids in here before. Tons of storage too. This is insanity. I am in awe, <laughs> honestly. I don't think I ever showed you guys the other room, <laughs> but I was expecting this room to be like just one room bigger than that. Wow. Alex and I are like exponentially impressed Crazy. by this place as, because as of the amount of money we spent on our weekend getaway, knowing how much this place costs and knowing we're going to have it, right. obviously there's a yearly fee, but knowing we're going to have it's it. It's 350 bucks a year, that's it. Yeah, well. For a week, and we a... get a week. Okay, anyway, the yearly fee. It's 350. Yeah, but I, um, then obviously you have to pay like a whole upfront chunk. Yeah. But even paying that, the long haul of it would right. save us so much more money. Especially a place like this. Yeah, this isn't they say this sleeps six i would say this sleeps 16. Right. <laughs> like, as a kid i would i would look up at this penthouse and just know like i want i want to get that penthouse one day oh so and this is it this is it 30, a long time dream of <laughs> i didn't know that yeah. oh, i always well, thought the people up here were i don't know just wow. luckiest in the world yeah. hey you guys are so cool we we're downstairs we half, half a bedroom <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's what it was I'm pleasantly surprised with what we just saw. I think we're going to uh, put an offer in. How weird is that? <laughs> ready to go to the beach, Meredith? Yeah, I'm ready. Me too. Me too. The gulf is loud today. The kids are already way out there. <laughs> Meredith. Oh my gosh, it's paradise every day at the beach. How wonderful is this?
I know, of course, as always, this is what you came for. Watching my feet in the water. <laughs> the quality content. You like the waves, Meredith? <laughs> the kids are all by the pool and the hot tub. I don't know why they enjoy that more than the beach. Um, I came down to the beach to grab my hat and then a couple other kids came down here. I said, I'm staying down here. The beach is like where it's at. Anyway, I just put on some sunscreen. I got some fancy, like I feel like an adult mom sunscreen with this. It is so bright. <laughs> I can't even tell if I'm recording or not, but I got this glow with shimmer. Ooh, SPF 50. I don't know, man, I'm trying to glow. So I just slathered it all over. Do I look glittery? No, I would say not really. Anyway, I found this bruise. What? <laughs> Where did that come from? Anyway, I'm just gonna enjoy. Oh wait, this is the obligatory shot right there. <laughs> I must do it every time. Anyway, isn't this? amazing I just can't get over the beach who doesn't love the beach I can definitely see the shimmer now and I love the smell of suntan lotion DW has a candle that smells like summer vacation or something and it smells like they also have one called beach day and it smells like sunscreen I love the smell of sunscreen anyway it kind of reminds me of the tanning bed so I'm like all sparkly now but I wanted to say like obviously who doesn't love the beach, but when you're packing for the beach with kids, it's a whole other experience. You have to, I mean, it took us hours <laughs> to prepare for this, but once we're here, it's like, oh, so lovely. I don't know why Alex allows for these shenanigans to occur every single year, but he always asks the kids to cover him with sand. That's like my worst nightmare. <laughs> Ooh, look what Renward found. What on earth? What is that, Alex? It's a poisonous jellyfish. Oh, poisonous jellyfish. That's awesome. It's not. <laughs> I think it's like some kind of seaweed or kelp or something. Super special. They're going to take a ride on the sailboat. I'm going to hang back with this one. She does not want to go. <laughs> but everyone else is ready to ride, ready to sail. We just got home from the beach. Some people are showering, getting ready for birthday parties. Some people are asking for treats even though I'm making dinner. Here's the crock pot. The house smells uh, delicious, divine, do something. Just gonna move things around a little bit, make sure everything's all cooked, cooked up. Hindsight, I, may, I should have maybe mixed everything with a little bit of water because pork doesn't release a whole bunch of juices, so there's not a ton of like gravy in here. Oh, my finger. Oh my gosh, but it tastes great. Um, but since there's not a lot, I'm going to probably take these out and then mix in a little bit more water. Per the usual, I'm gonna take a taste test, but I mean, it looks divine. There's definitely not enough juices in here, but if you wanted to, you could just shred it up and then put it in the juice. Oh my gosh, it's heaven. It's like falling apart. Oh, it tastes so good, I'm so hungry. If I don't move away from this, I'm gonna eat this whole thing. I did add some water. I took the seeds out, or the um, peppers, and one fell apart, completely made a mess. Anyway, I threw some rice in, and I've got broccoli going in the microwave. Okay, here's the spread. They're setting the table, getting ready for everything. I think there's like two cups of juice in there. I'm just gonna give this a little drink but this tastes delicious and everyone is ready to eat there's not many things that are nicer than showering after a day at the beach everyone is showered and uh, getting ready for bed and all that good stuff I'll show you what I put on my feet always after uh, beach day because the sand is like a natural exfoliant the sand and the ocean water this is what I put on it's like an ointment it's like a really thick ointment and then I just throw some socks on. But I wanted to talk about the timeshare for just a moment because I'm already getting a bunch of, cause I shared it on Instagram and just horror story after horror story. Don't do it, don't do it. Okay, we feel comfortable doing it for a couple of reasons. Alex has been going his entire life. His grandparents own a timeshare in the same building. So we kind of know like the good, bad and the ugly. 
and we i mean i think this place is a really good place because we know someone who personally has one and they've told us you know the the inner happenings of it so i don't think there's anything shady that we have to worry about we are really excited because this year was going to be the first year that we didn't stay in his grandparents uh room because really his grandparents room is has a queen bed it's supposed to be for like two people it does have a pull out couch so we've made it work because what well, i mean given the opportunity wouldn't you make it work too with a super large family we've just thought okay everyone just sleep wherever <laughs> and then you wake up and you're on the beach and it's paradise so we've always made it work, but this year we we were like, we don't know if we can stay because we're just too many people. And then this place pops up on the market and we just thought, is this meant to be? I don't know. It's something that the kids look forward to every year. So it's kind of like an experience gift for the whole family for the rest of our lives, you know? So I don't know, I'm really excited about it, especially for the price, like I said, after spending the amount of money we did for just two days. And then knowing we can spend a bit more and obviously the yearly fee and have this place uh, hopefully forever would be nice. So I'll keep you guys updated. I'm popping in to share some news. We got it. <laughs> we got the timeshare, which is crazy. We weren't expecting it. A few things happened. It's been several days. It's like a roller coaster ride. And Alex and I just thought, you know what? If we don't get it, it's not meant to be. It was whatever. Uh, but we, you know, so that's great news. For the rest of our lives, hopefully, we will have this place to enjoy once a year. The kids are already looking forward to it. We weren't expecting to go so soon in the summer because we typically go, obviously, when Alex's grandparents have their week, which is later in the summer. So for me right now, I'm like, ah, it's so soon and I wasn't expecting it. And oh my gosh, I, we have to prepare. So. That's what mode I'm in right now. I'm excited. And of course I'll bring you along when we go so you can enjoy the golf with us. But I just wanted to update you guys, let you know. Oh, also I have a Trader Joe's haul to share with you. So I'll do that now. I had an OB appointment this morning. And since I was on that side of town, I figured I need some beach snacks. Uh, we need summer vacation snacks for the kids. And what better place to go than Trader Joe's? I sing and love Trader Joe's. They always have like the weirdest things. Their marketing is top notch. So I figured, so I figured I would share with you. Oh, why not? Let's do it. I also grabbed a couple of snacks for the road. Very excited to tell you about them. Let me grab, let me get everything out of the bags. Okay, here's everything out of the bags. Uh, not a lot of healthy stuff. Did I mention that? <clears throat> Almost zero nutrition on <laughs> most of these items, but it is vacation. Okay, I'm going to start over here. In the frozen section, they had these loaded potatoes. Never had them before. Excited to try them. Ground beef, tomatoes, cheese. It sounds really good. Almond butter puff cereal. They actually had a lot of like good-looking cereal. And these are crunchy rice. They're gluten-free, quinoa and then the almond butter, and I quite enjoy the flavor of that, so I don't know, we'll see if the kids like it, slash I like it. Almond butter cocoa bars, these are also, <clears throat> I wanna say gluten-free and dairy-free. Yep, and then, but they do have almonds, so look out for that. I feel like I bought these years ago. I don't remember how my kids reacted to them, so eh, who knows, it's been a while. And then I found these, these are both gluten-free, and you know, we always have extra kids over the house, so I thought for like brunch, because that's the point of the day where it's at, I would just put these out, double chocolate muffins. Meredith already, I already gave her one. Um, but they, oh my gosh, muffin. They should call these cupcakes. And then cinnamon coffee cake muffins as well. So excited to try these. And I love that they're gluten free. These are some of my favorite things. Coconut chocolate almonds, ooh. The coconut flavor of these tastes so real, unlike the ones from Costco. Similar, because it's just an almond wrapped in like coconut and then chocolate. Oh my gosh, this is like summertime in a candy. Oh, I love those so much. This is something new that I haven't seen before, slash don't know if it's any good. Tar dark chocolate watermelon sticks. So, I don't know, apparently that's what they look like. Who knows, <laughs> I should crack into it. Uh, we'll find out tomorrow because we're going to the beach slash maybe you already saw that part. I don't know how I'm going to integrate this. 
I needed some cream cheese because uh, Wentworth asked for bagels the other day, so I said, okay. And then the hummus, they ha always have a great price on their hummus, and I we are out of hummus. Uh-oh, did this break the lid on this? So I just got like plain Mediterranean style hummus there. These are some of Alex's favorites and they're packaged differently than they used to. They used to come in like little bites and then like a huge container like this. Well, not quite that big. But so these were an arm and a leg for what they are, but they're sea salt brownie bites. I, I mean, I'm sure they're gonna be just as delicious as they normally are. And then I found this, again, new product to me, not sure how it's gonna taste. Hula Cruncha. Hula Cruncha popcorn and rice cracker mix. A Hawaiian inspired snack with seasoned popcorn and crunchy rice crackers. Okay, I saw that on like an uh, Trader Joe's Instagram kind of thing. Well, it's just someone who shares Trader Joe's products. Anyway, uh, I think they said it was good. <laughs> I don't know, I feel like I didn't watch the entire video, but she did buy it, so there's that. Um, I grabbed these for the ride home. Oh my gosh, they're both delicious, you guys. This is so dang spicy, so spicy. And I just had Alex take a bite too, and he's like wailing. He, they, it does come with sauce, and he says the sauce kind of dulls it down, but it is a lentil wrap, spicy lentil wrap. Okay, so what's inside? Lentil bulgur wheat with shredded cabbage, red pepper paste, and a lavish wrap, spicy tahini sauce. No man, it's like real spicy tahini sauce. And then a tarragon chicken salad wrap. That was really good too. Okay, I don't know if I'll buy it again because they do cost a lot because obviously it's like prepared packaged food and stuff. But it had been hours since I've eaten and I knew I needed to eat something, so I just grabbed something. I grabbed two bell peppers, two green bell peppers, because I, I don't, for whatever reason, I'm like craving it. I hope we have some like ranch dip to put it in. Not like ranch dressing. I don't like that. It's like ranch dip. There's a, there's a difference, okay? And then I feel like when I was in my first trimester, I bought these and loved them. Oh my gosh, they're cheese filled some kind of pasta. I call them sacatinis because they look, they look like little sacks of mm, deliciousness. They're so good. When we lived in Italy, a local place to us sold pasta that was like this, but inside was like pear, cheese, and like it had like poppy seeds on it. So it was completely different, but it looked similar. Anyway, this tastes good. It's like, I think there's cheese inside and then they have like some kind of pink sauce, but it's good. Obviously it's good enough for me that I bought it again. Haven't tried this spicy Mexican style riced cauliflower. One of our neighbors does cauliflower instead of rice. So I figured, uh, I don't know, one day if he's ever over for lunch or whatever, I'll have something to serve him and make him and we can eat it too, because I got two bags. Also grabbed some cheese sticks. This olive tamponade, tapenade, tapenade. Oh my gosh, a rose by any other name. I can't wait to eat this too. I love all of tapenade. I love tapas. I love Mediterranean cuisine. <laughs> I love it all. I grabbed some crackers for this too. Cream cheese alternative because, um, you know, Eleanor is dairy free. Hey, guess what else is dairy free? These semi sweet chocolate chips, and they're $2 a bag. It's like the cheapest I've ever found uh, semi sweet or any kind of like chocolate chip. They're gluten-free and dairy-free, which is important for us. And the price is right. So I stocked up again, I got four bags. Sometimes they have the chunks, sometimes they have the chips. Um, check the back though, because I think they sell some that have dairy, and but these don't, which is great. And then I grabbed a bag of mandarin oranges. And then I grabbed two bags of these little baby apples. These are like the perfect size apple. It's like a snacking apple and they're gala apples. Uh, so I got two bags of those and they were a really good price for what they were. Green beans, they're haricot vert. They're so fancy. They're like the little skinny French style. Those are from the frozen food section. Oh my gosh, I almost passed over these. How dare I? Chocolatey cats, they're cookies for people. This is one of like the first products that I fell in love with from Trader Joe's. You guys, this is it. They do have wheat. They're dairy free, <laughs> but it is a cracker cookie. It's a cookie. It's cookies for people. They're cats. Oh my gosh. My kids love these. If you eat them with peanut butter, I swear it'll take you to another dimension. They're so dang good. And then I saw someone pick these up and I said, well, if she likes them, maybe I will too. Dark chocolate chunk with almond cookies. And I really like 
that almonds <laughs> and I like cookies. So I figured that'll be a really good beach snack. That's the kind of snack I like to bring on the beach. I also grabbed some bananas back there and then they had a bag of, where can I put these? Little baby peaches. These are perfect, my kids like them nice and hard and that's what these are. Georgia fuzzies. I don't know how many are in here but this was a decent price for what it was as well. Oh my gosh, speaking of decent price, Coconut Aminos, this is the best price I've ever found out. I wanna say it was like $2, $2.29 or something like that. Better than Thrive Market, but I rarely make it to Trader Joe's, so it's always nice. Um, so I stocked up on that when I went. I got some mini cheese cracker sandwiches for the kiddos. Everything but the bagel seasoned bite-sized crackers. These are mostly for me in the olive tamponade. It might be too many flavors, but I'm really craving like a Triscuit style cracker but they didn't have that there, so next next best thing, you know? And then I got some garlic non crackers. I've never had those. I've never had any of these. Well, that's a lie, I've had these. They taste like whatever. And then I thought my kids would get a kick out of this. Blue corn taco shells, all right? And then this was new for the season. Strawberry lemonade JoJo's. They're like Oreos, but they're vanilla cookies with like the strawberry lemonade filling, so. Excited to try those. I got some plain bagels. I got some gluten-free bagels. And then we got some gluten-free hamburger rolls. It's, uh, by the time you see this, it's after Memorial Day, but it's almost Memorial Day for us, so I figured um, I'll bring these. And it's hard to find a good gluten-free bun, and these feel really soft. So I have high hopes for these, and they were a decent price. Again, gluten-free bread is like astronomical. They did not have any freeze-dried bananas. They were completely out, which broke my achy breaky heart. That's actually why I went to Trader Joe's, because that's a good beach snack, you know? But I did find some dried baby sheet. Oh, sweet, <laughs> hooked on phonics, pineapple. Um, these are not crunchy like other freeze-dried fruit that Trader Joe's sells, but I don't know. I like pineapple, and I thought that would be a good beach snack, too. Peanut butter caramel coated popcorn also sounds divine. Sign me up. And then the kids always love the, uh, the puffs, and one bag is never enough. Honestly, two bags is not really enough, but they'll, they'll survive, okay? All right, now it's time to taste test all of this, slash put it away, slash crash <laughs> but that is it thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out if you want to subscribe put a little happy in your day i'll see you next time bye